doctor will still tell you that there is nothing there. Doctor cannot treat what kills some people. Some people is bitterness and anger that kill them. <laughs> it's truth. It's what the Bible tells you. Always make me laugh. It's truth. Bitterness and anger. If they take that person to autopsy, autopsy cannot detect what kills that person. They can't discover it. They can't discover it. It's only that person when he meet his maker face to face. It's only him or her, no one that bring him or her to any grave. It's anger and bitterness. Release some, let them go. Release it so that you'll be free. Pray about it. May God empty that for Father, empty me. Empty me. I cannot carry this baggage for so long. It will empty. Hallelujah. It will empty. Because a lot of us, the baggage inside our hearts is too much in our brain. Some of us, because we hold people too much in our mind, when we want to open our door, we go to another person's door, we will be open their door. Because why? So many baggage is there. It's not funny. <laughs> it's truth. It's there. Yeah, it's truth. People are going through depression today, not because... Not because they want to go through it or God want them to go through it, because of so many baggage, excess luggage inside them. If you want to travel now, you carry excess luggage and you don't pay for it, then we allow you. Either you drop it or you pay for it. So today, drop all those excess luggage. Let it go. Because if you don't let it go, the payment, the wages of sin is death. So let it go. Sometimes we can't do it on our own, but hand over it to God, He will help you. He will help you. Yeah. You will see people and they say they go to bed, they don't wake up. Sometimes it may be heart attack. Sometimes it may be that heart attack. The person is thinking, 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 thinking. He will have heart attack and die. Please, brothers and sisters. God don't want us to die premature deaths. He wants us to be wise. Because a lot of us, we are really not wise. We don't wise. We behave anyhow. We hold people in our hearts. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. May God help us. So that in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 2, the Bible says, A wise man heart directs him towards the right, but the foolish man's heart directs him towards the left. Your hearts matter to you. If you are, you are wise, your heart will always direct you to a rightful path. Because why? You don't do things by your own. You always seek for God's grace. You, before you take any decision, you always ask God, Father, please, I need the direct way to go. Take me to the direct path. Because your heart is right. So whatever you are going to be doing, God will always direct you in the right path. But what about the foolish hearts? The foolish hearts direct them in a wrong way. A wrong way. And at the end, they will live to regret it forever. It's not too late. Do you know a lot of us that we are living in a regret? Walking faster than anything, keep faster than cancer, is to be living in regrets. I wish I know. I wish I know this area. But if you are the one that is wishing I know, just say, Father, I am sorry. I wish I know. I will not be foolish. Please have mercy on me. And give me wisdom and understanding. So that every way we work will be good to me. Wherever I go, whatever I do, whatever I say, anything that I'm going to be doing from now on forth. Let it be good and the rightful direction. Some people are they're supposed to be a billionaire by now, but it's the choice they have taken. Your choice can either build you or what? Destroy you. Pray to God that God will always direct you in the right path. That's why we need God, really. We need God. No more than Jesus Christ said, you that think you are, he said, you, any of you, he was saying it to his disciples, any of you that think that you are wise will become a servant, a slave to the foolish one. If you think you are wise, become what? 
become a slave to the what? To the foolish one. You that is think you are great, you are rich, become a servant to the poor. That is what he has done. If you think you are so rich, you become a servant to the poor. Why are you going to be a servant to the poor? Because the way you will be loving them, giving them, doing things to them, people that don't have understanding, they will think you are foolish. Are you seeing it? They will say, why this rich person is behaving like this? No, because that is the commandment of Jesus Christ. Be a servant to the poor. You that believe that you are wise, be a servant to the what? To the poor. How are you going to be a servant to the poor now? It's perseverance. Because I am wise. So that person now, whatever he's just doing, you are just okay, no problem. You go to your secret place, you, you pray. So are you not serving that foolish person? <laughs> are you saying it? You are serving that foolish person. Because now you strip yourself of your ego, your pride. You are just you are just accepting what that person is doing. But that person that is doing it is he that is foolish, not you, you are wise. Because what you are doing to somebody, you know that this thing, this person is not supposed to overlook at it. He's supposed to react, but he refused to be react. He just leave you for your own foolishness. You're supposed to be ashamed of yourself. Are you getting it? You're supposed to be ashamed of yourself. For instance, now somebody just stand up now and slap me and sit telling that person, I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Who oh, they will think is foolish. If everybody says that somebody slapped me and they are holding the person not to fight me, and me are still telling the person, I'm sorry, I'm leaving down, say, please forgive me, I'm sorry. And the person is still shouting, provoking. So who people will be angry of? <laughs> is that not truth? It's the person that slapped me. But somebody slapped me and I jump out, I slap that person. So both of us, we are what? <laughs> we, are, we are foolish. And is it easy to walk in this in this partner I'm teaching? Eh? <laughs> is it easy? It's not easy. But when you are dead with your flesh, it will become nothing to you. So that's why God wants us to go through pains to kill our flesh. Yeah, it's too much, but because you know why the pains will be too much? Eh? Because you are not learning for what God wants you to learn. So if you don't learn, they will increase, it will increase that fire. You will increase that fire. Even though you give up on it, it doesn't care. But the moment you it will increase.